Thanks for your interest in the PhD program in biochemistry at the CUNY Graduate Center in New York. Before I tell you about the rigor of the program and all of the components, I'd like to start off by telling you that we have a little bit of fun as well in the biochemistry PhD program at the CUNY Graduate Center. The photo that you see above is from our annual Halloween party. This party is a way to welcome our incoming first year students and a way for students and faculty to mingle outside of the class and lab setting. It's a really great opportunity to get to meet the many biochemists across the CUNY system. My name is Jillian Chase and I'm a doctoral student studying and doing research in this program. I've been in the program since 2014 and I plan to defend my thesis work and graduate soon within the five-year recommended time period. This brief video will give you some background and specifics about the program and a bit of information about the application process as well. The City University of New York is the largest urban university system in the United States and has college campuses located throughout New York City where doctoral students do their research. For example, the laboratory that I work in is located at the City College of New York's campus in Upper Manhattan. The university has research labs at the senior college campuses in all five boroughs of New York City, and eight of these participate in the CUNY PhD program in biochemistry. These are the Advanced Science Research Center, ASRC, Brooklyn College, City College, the College of Staten Island, Hunter College, Lehman College, Queens College, and York College. Many of these campuses have a small town atmosphere quite different from the hub of activity in midtown Manhattan. In the past decade, CUNY has invested in new state-of-the-art research laboratories at many of these campuses. Living near any one of the campuses that participate in the biochemistry program is very safe and relatively affordable. Of course, living in New York City has its great advantages because it's always exciting and full of choices for fun when you have free time. There's tons of great food, great museums, and lots of sightseeing to do. The Graduate Center is CUNY's institution for doctoral education in all disciplines. I took almost all of my PhD level courses in this beautiful building located just across the street from the Empire State Building. Since there are no laboratories in this building, the science research faculty run their labs elsewhere. However, a recent alliance has been formed between the Graduate Center and the new CUNY Advanced Science Research Center, which is located in Uptown Manhattan. The goal of this alliance is to expand nearby lab resources to all doctoral students. This is the new Advanced Science Research Center, which is located on the campus of the City College of New York in Uptown Manhattan. This building has specialized equipment for research in structural biology, environmental science, neuroscience, photonics, and nanoscience. The building is also set up to foster collaboration amongst different groups throughout CUNY. The doctoral program in biochemistry has been training biochemists for almost 50 years in a variety of fields, and it continues to expand every year with new faculty members and new research efforts. This slide gives you some information about its structure. My own personal work is in the area of structural biology in Dr. David Geralzami's laboratory. Classmates of mine, however, do research in everything from cancer biology to drug design, RNA structure and function, molecular biology, and chemical calculations. We get to use state-of-the-art instruments in our home laboratories and also highly specialized equipment housed at the new Advanced Science Research Center, where techniques such as high-resolution NMR and cryo-electron microscopy are available. Applying to the Graduate Center PhD programs is all done online and is easy once you have the necessary documents together. You'll need an official transcript of your undergraduate and postgraduate coursework with both grades and GPAs, two letters of recommendation, GRE scores on the verbal and quantitative reasoning sections, and if you're a foreign student, a score from an English proficiency exam, such as the TOEFL or IELTS. You also need to submit a personal statement that describes your past experiences and future plans. I'll explain more about this personal statement in just a minute. Applications are due by January 1st and will be reviewed by a committee of biochemistry doctoral faculty at the beginning of February. They will be looking closely at your undergraduate record in science courses, 
your research experience, GRE scores, your recommendation letters, which are quite important, and your personal statement essay. You need to have demonstrated good achievements in all of these components in order to be considered a good candidate for admission. However, deficiencies can be outweighed by the stronger features of your application. The program requires that you took at least one semester of physical chemistry with a lab component, and most applicants will have done a full chem major as undergrads. Coursework in biology and physics is also beneficial. You may be invited for an interview at the Graduate Center in the middle of February and can even use this opportunity to visit labs at college campuses at that time. This is a great way to learn more about CUNY, to meet current doctoral students and members of the faculty. You may also be interviewed over the internet. Sometime soon after the interviews, a decision will be made about offers of admission to the program. One critical aspect of your application is the personal statement essay. I'd just like to give you a couple of pointers to make sure that you use this opportunity to properly introduce yourself to the admissions committee. It's a really good idea to explain who you are and what skills you bring to the program. You should also go on to explain what you expect to get out of the program, what your long-term goals may be, and how the program may help you achieve them. It's also very helpful to identify an area in which you want to focus on, and perhaps even a faculty member whose research interests align with yours. All doctoral students in the sciences at CUNY receive five years of guaranteed financial support that includes a full tuition waiver, a fellowship stipend, subsidized health insurance, and parental leave for birth or adoption. First-year students can expect to earn around $28,000 for the 2017-2018 academic year. After the first year in the program and completion of the core courses, you will be given teaching assignments usually requiring you to teach an undergraduate lab course at the senior college where your research lab is located. This is a really great experience for your future career, whether you decide to stay in an academic environment or not. There are also various opportunities for students to enter into special training and research programs funded by government grants or private fellowships. There are also research opportunities at research hospitals affiliated with the biochemistry program, such as the Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. The course of study once you join the program involves taking a few core courses in biochemistry and other subjects like bioinformatics and bioorganic chemistry all of which are hosted at the Graduate Center. You're also required to take two advanced courses, along with seminar classes each semester. You may decide to follow the Molecular Biophysics track, which is also an option for doctoral students in the Chemistry program. In this track, you will take advanced courses and seminars in Molecular Biophysics. Milestones in the pathway to degree include your first level and second level examinations. These are written and oral presentations accomplished at the end of the first year and during the second year of study. During the first year, you will join at least three different research groups for lab rotations for short periods in order to help you choose a thesis research mentor. Laboratory rotations are part of the first year curriculum and you will immediately start gaining new skills in research on the path to choosing your thesis mentor. After three or four different lab experiences, you will be able to make the right choice for your home lab for the following years of research. The research faculty in the biochemistry program provide a very broad range of opportunities in order for you to find an area that both interests and excites you. The laboratories located at the college campuses are well equipped for research using the latest state-of-the-art instrumentation. All modern techniques from magnetic resonance to laser spectroscopy to flow cytometry and high power computing can be performed in labs run by faculty in the PhD program in biochemistry. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video in order to learn more about the PhD program in biochemistry at the CUNY Graduate Center. We welcome your application and we look forward to meeting you in the future.